Hi guys, Sarah Jane Critchley here, author of A Different Joy, Parents Guide to Living Best with Autism, Dyslexia, ADHD and more. Today, I have for you beautiful whales. So you should be able to see behind me in the background, if I stay still long enough and actually focus it slightly differently, that um, I'm surrounded by lots of green. And I wanted just to talk to you very, very quickly, um, just a short one today, about the things that we might do to make it easier and the importance of having a bit of nature around you. I'm actually in Wales because my daughter's taking the exam today. It's half term. The only place we could get her to take the exam was either um, in North London, in a very urban bit of the countryside with a commercial exam centre and I didn't like the sound of the way that they talked about her exam accommodations. So we've actually come all the way to Wales <laughs> so she can do her exams somewhere where she feels comfortable. So this morning we've had a drive through beautiful countryside. It's not sunny but it is still incredibly beautiful and rural and just gorgeous. So it occurred to me that this is actually the ideal place for her to take an exam. So she might be disturbed by the odd sheep and the sound of the birds, maybe the odd dog. But other than that, it's fine. It's really, really fine. Sometimes it's just worth looking and thinking outside the box a bit, trying something different. Because you never know, it might even work for you. There was an interesting article in the Times last week called The Week Before, which was highlighting the importance of having time outside for well-being and I think that's absolutely true we all need a bit of fresh air I would say the sun on our face but there isn't sun today despite the sunglasses um, <laughs> but uh, even so it's gorgeous it's still gorgeous why would you not want a bit of that anyway She's halfway through. I'm going to go and collect her shortly. But this beats the heck out of somewhere really urban, doesn't it? Don't you think? I know we like the excitement of the city. We like the culture of the city. We like the facilities you get in the city. But if you want somewhere to feed your soul, assuming it's not theatre or in a book, obviously very, very good, then I would suggest that you try it. Give it a whirl, see what you think. Anyway, hope that serves you. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.